I rang a man the other day to ask him to come and fix my telly. And he said, who are you? I said, I'm a frustrated lady living in Mount Rath. He said, if I was living in Mount Rath, I'd be frustrated. There was three or four restaurants here. It was a fast day that time. Did no. you keep the fast day that was that? And there was no meat that time. <laughs> fast day. Be looking to get an egg. <laughs> there are fears of a major health outbreak after a Chinese expert confirmed that a new SARS-like... We might be a small town, we might be a town that no one really knows of. I'm proud of where I'm from and I'm proud of the people that come from my town. This evening we're reporting to you that we have two additional deaths as a result of COVID-19. Well, my mother is still back home um, in Lithuania, so, so she's 65 this year. So there is that level of fear that, you know, if she gets it, what's going to happen? Like, obviously, I wouldn't be able to go back home. At the beginning of this emergency, I told you there would be difficult days ahead. We knew that the virus would spread in our country, that tragically many of our citizens would suffer, and that some would not survive. A Chinese Health Commission team which has been investigating this virus. Nobody knew what was going on. You're listening to the news every hour to see uh, where you could see a little bit of light, but it was just getting darker and darker. We were social distancing, we were protecting each other, but we were looking after each other in a different way, where everywhere else in the world was probably walking past each other just to stay alive. We stayed alive together. I haven't seen one friend since March. But at the same time, I've never found myself more connected. It probably brought me a friendship back into the country as well. Life's about living, it's not about looking into your phone and maybe it gives people a chance to actually realise how life is and how it was and, and maybe how it should be going forward. People have become a little bit kinder. People think about helping other people, which they had forgotten about. It's those little things that I think that make a difference. Well, my father like worked on a farm and he, he probably didn't have a full-time job or anything like that. But you know, they had a great life. If somebody was walking down the road, they could stop and talk for an hour and there wasn't someone shouting at them the time you went back to work. They had very little, but they had time for themselves, which is a thing that we've lost completely. It doesn't really matter now if we have a shortage of priests because there's no mass. I really miss mass. <laughs>